What inspires change? What motivates us? It's what's inside that moves us. What moves you? Get the Scion story at scion.com. Guam Department of Education Deputy Superintendent Robert Malay confirms to PNC today of an incident that happened at JQ San Miguel Elementary School involving a student bringing an air gun to the Totu campus. Last month there was an incident at the school um, in which a student brought in it what appears to be an air gun that was not loaded, brought it out to the playground and took it out and had pointed it at other students. Malay says no one was hurt and commends the school staff for quickly defusing the situation. The school principal along with the assistant principal and the staff and faculty immediately addressed the situation. They called for support from the district offices. The district responded providing support for the school, for the students who were involved, the directly involved. Mm -hmm to address it at that point in time. He also says part of the reason why the elementary school reacted quickly and effectively is because of proactive training with emergency procedures. That school in particular is very good about practicing their emergency responses. So they are very well educated on how to respond to emergencies from students in kindergarten all the way up to the principal at the school. So what about the student that brought in the unloaded air gun and those affected by the incident? The consequences for the student who brought the gun, I cannot share. That's a, that's a privacy right that, that individuals have. Um, but there was administrative action and it was also reported to the police as required. Um, the support that was provided to all of the individuals uh, did come from inside of the Department of Education. We do have personnel who are trained to talk to students to help facilitate the um, the process of healing if, if needed, and so they were deployed to the school. PNC also asked why no one in the community was informed of the incident until now. A decision was made to focus the energy on those who were directly affected at the time of the incident, and in hindsight being 2020, should there have been a communication to, to all of the members of the community? Well, that's being reviewed and revisited by the school administrator, by the uh, district as well, to see you know, how can we be a little bit more transparent. Malay asserts that JQ San Miguel Elementary is still safe and a lot of attention is focused on the safety and well-being of not just the students but school officials as well. I do believe that this was an isolated incident. I do believe that the students at that particular school and the other 39 of our schools are safe. Meanwhile, he says DOE is working with the Guam Education Board to revisit their emergency procedure policy. He also recommends for parents of all school children to be mindful of what their students bring with them so they are not caught by surprise. Know what your kids are leaving home with. Know what they are bringing inside of their bag, inside of their clothing. Make sure that you're aware and you're tuned in to what they're exiting your homes with. Make sure that you do a check and, and do look.